Hello and welcome to Microsoft Visual Basic tutorial over adding modulus to a calculator. Um, this can be a brief tutorial over how to code for modulus which allows you to have remainders. So first we're going to need to start a Windows form application. Um, you can name it whatever you want. And we're going to set this up like any other calculator. We're going to need two text boxes. And you're going to need one button. Um, now we're going to need some labels for our answers to print out on. Um, we're going to create one label that says answer and then we're going to create two blink labels one and two and go ahead and see where you placed yours at just by outlining um, we're also going to place a label for that says remainder on it so we'll just put an R Make sure they're decently spaced, or your stuff starts running into each other. All right, so now we have a blank label for our hole, which is here. Our R, that states that it's going to be a remainder, and a spot for our remainder. Well, put text, change the text to calculate and we have our calculate button. This is going to be the number that's being divided by. So this is going to be first number divided by the second number. So go ahead and double click on calculate. Now we're going to dim one variable. We're going to dim a variable called remainder. So we're going to dim remainder as uh, whatever you want. I'll just dim it as double. Um, integer is probably best but it doesn't matter for this tutorial. Um, now we're going to define remainder. We're going to do remainder equals text box one dot text and the important part is well all of it's important you gotta know your names and everything. Um, the keyword in this is mod. It'll turn blue. Um, so you do text box one mod text box two dot text now this is dividing text box 1 by text box 2 but it's giving the remainder so now we're gonna that's all we really need to do that's just the big thing with doing the modulus so now we're just gonna print these out so we're gonna do label oops 2 label 2 is gonna be our whole so we're going to do label two dot text equals it's going to equal uh, just a regular division um, since it's going to be a whole it's going to need to be uh, the whole div divisor you have one slash that goes to the right and you have one slash the back slash this slash here the one that's on the screen um, that gives you whole numbers so we're going to use that one it's above the enter key because this gives you decimals this one doesn't that's what we need so we're going to do text box one dot text backslash text box two dot text so so far this is what your coding should look like just like that now we're going to display our remainder on the correct label I have it as label three dot text equals remainder and um, this is your modulus so let's run this and make sure we've done everything correctly if not then 7 remainder 2 7 21 22 23 and it works nicely so this is your basic modulus calculator um, you can apply this to your normal calculator by creating a another button onto your 
calculator and just naming it modulus and doing this programming this coding and then simply adding another label um, for the remainder if you have a calculator you're applying this to with multiplication and stuff um, when they click the multiplication button you can make the visibility of this uh, label 4 make the visibility of it false that's all you gotta do is visible dot false equals false and it'll hide that um, but this is the modulus tutorial thanks for viewing